Monday, August 14th, 2019, and we're at 5439 Endicott here in Oviedo, Florida, 32765 E-N-D-I-C-O-T-T, -T, in the subdivision of Lakes of Aloma. If you're looking for this home, or a home like this in Lakes of Aloma, or here in Oviedo, call me, top Oviedo Realtor, Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country. Been living and working here for 28 years. Why are we walking away from the house? The purpose of the video is to give you a feel for the neighborhood and the things you can't get looking at the best pictures online on Realtor.com and Zillow and Homes.com and all of the sites. Lakes of Aloma is a great neighborhood. We've got a lake right out there, a little pond leading to the lake. HOA is 185 a quarter. Uh, around the corner, there's a little community boardwalk that will take you right out to the lake, which is really nice if you walk the dogs. Uh, what we're seeing right here, one of the reasons why people like this area, and that is the great trees. They did not take those trees out. It's been a little over pruned, that one when they built the place. And it can make for super nice homes. Here we are in August, so you can hear the, I think it's uh, the cages making their noise. Got a nice original old, old oak tree here on this property. Four bedrooms, two and a half baths. Built in 1989. Nice curb appeal. And let's go. And welcome home. The four bedrooms, two and a half baths. That's the half bath right here. Built in 1989. I live in a house about 200 yards from here in a different subdivision. Built in 1989, very similar. Got the popcorn ceilings, got the floor plan that people love. A lot of things been redone. There's always other things to redo. Back in the early, late 80s, this was like super fun. Look at that ceiling, that's amazing. Got the smaller tile, which was popular about 10 or 15 years ago. Still functional for sure. Kitchen's been way redone. The counters at least. Those are the original cabinets. Kind of neat setup. The convection oven, the regular oven, the island. Back in 1989, that was popular. Now we'd probably take most of that, all that, definitely that out, and open it up even more. All right, let's go out to the backyard. And that is a heck of a porch. So screened and unscreened. Got the smaller fence here. You could get a larger fence if you wanted more privacy from these neighbors, but you would lose that, which is really nice. So you can see the lake right there in the distance. That's like a little sub pond. Did a great job with the tile out here, a nice big tile. No rear neighbors. Now that's the lake right there that we saw in the beginning of the video. Not exactly lakefront property, but definitely no neighbors. Here we are in the back. Nice trees. That's a heck of a screened enclosure right there. A little bit of deferred maintenance up there on those soffits. Probably because that's a real pain to get to with the porch. And we're going to go up the stairs. Now 
house does seem a little dark, but that's more just kind of like how they like it, I think, than something that's not that changeable. You see they've got the blinds here. If you open those up, the walls are kind of a grayish. This is a blue-gray. All this is designed to make the place look a little darker. Definitely need these, these new carpet. You'll see all the way through. It's all wrinkled. So you update the carpet, change the colors, get some new light fixtures. You know, those are 40 bucks to buy new ones, if that's important to you. It would really update. Look what they did with the light in here, see, and stuff. Makes a huge difference. Those are original cabinets and sinks. That's the original one. So if the light was an issue, which it must be for me, I wouldn't be talking about it. Could definitely do something to upgrade that massively. That tile's been redone. This is original. This is definitely original. Got this room, which is the smallest room, really good for an office or as they have it set up for a TV or something. Put a bed in here, it would take up most of the room for sure. And how do we know that? Well, here's one right here where it takes up most of the bed. So again, remember, you're looking at the floor plan. You don't want to look at, like, the decor. You don't want to look at, like, the gray walls. Just different lights, windows open. It would really make a huge difference. You know, the different carpeting or flooring. All those things, which anyone who buys this is going to want to do anyway. If that's important to you, it would give you a whole different feel. But what you've got is the high ceiling, the nice six-panel doors. Got a good floor plan. All the bedrooms are upstairs. So you have to be okay with that. And we're going down the stairs. I don't think we got the half bath here. Obviously, that's all original. Right by the front door. This brick is amazing. That's really nice to have. Got a big pantry. And we've got the laundry room here between the garage and the kitchen, which is a great place for it. If you're interested in a Lakes of Aloma house, this house or one like it, I want you to call me so I can make sure that you find out about the best ones on the market before anyone else. I'm Top Vita Realtor, Scott Garrison, with Remax Town & Country, 407-339-3200. Thanks.